link in the description so you can follow along. So we've just looked at loops, arrays, and variables. Now we go to conditions, okay? So what exactly is a condition? Now a condition is very similar to a loop with one exception, that it runs only once. So if I say if, something like that, this is how a condition looks like. So by the way, this is how you put a comment uh, in PHP. So whenever PHP sees these double slashes like this, it's going to ignore this and know that this is not part of PHP. This is just a comment for me to remember what I'm talking about here. So if this is true, so we put a condition in here just like we did with the uh, loop. So if the condition evaluates to true, then we're going to do this. So for example, if I say number is equal to 10, and then I put a condition in here and say number is greater than 20. So what I'm asking here is that is number greater than 20? Now 10 is not greater than 20, so this will evaluate to false, meaning that whatever I put in here will not run. So if I put something and say echo, inside if statement put a semicolon don't forget that so this will only run if number is greater than 20 so let's see what happens if we go back and run this script in our browser you find that nothing has happened okay so number if now I put this at 30 now things have changed because now inside if statement, okay? So now that this is 30, this evaluates to true because 30 is greater than 20, okay? So you can use greater than, less than, or you can say is equal to, or as previously mentioned, you can put greater than or equal to, great, uh, that was less than and equal to, or greater than or equal to. So in this case, if it's greater or equal, then it's going to run this. Now, if I put something here and say echo end, right? Now this will run no matter what happens here because after this, PHP will get here and run this. So we can see this here. There's end at the end that has been added there. Okay, let me put a space. Now, if I make this one 10, for example, I go back here, I find that only end has run because this didn't run, but this run. Now, what if I want, if this runs, I don't run this one, or if this doesn't run, this one should run. This is where I'll put an else statement. I can say, if this is true, run here. If it's not, which where I put an else statement like that, and then I can do this again and put this inside the else part. So what I'm saying is, if this is true, run this. If it's not, run that. So if this runs, this doesn't run. If this doesn't run, then this will run. So let's check that out, we'll see end, and then if I put this at 40, we're going to see the other one. Now, if can add several of these, for example, if I go down, I can add an else if, for example. I can do this instead. I can say else if, as one word like that, else if. I think it still works as two words. I'm not very sure. Let me check that. Oh, syntax error. All right, so that doesn't work unless we say else if. Still does not work. So syntax error on line 11, so which is right here. So this is an error. It's supposed to be like so. I guess it's very picky. Or oh, is that the error? 
Okay, now I have to read syntax error unexpected, this bracket here. So this bracket is not expected. All right, so I know what exactly has happened here. It's because when you put the if, you have to put a condition. So I didn't put that. I don't know how I forgot that. So when I say else if, I have to put another condition. And then I can also put an else like that. And say echo else. So what I'm saying this uh, here, less than 20, and then here I'm going to say greater than 20. So what I'm saying here is that if number is greater than 20, do this. Else if number is less than 20, do that. If none of these is true, do this, okay? So two conditions and the last one. So refresh and there you see the number is greater than 20. And if I put it at 10, it's going to say number is less than 20. So this if statement is very powerful because it makes a computer to decide what to do next, depending on what a certain situation is. So if the number is less than 10, it will do one thing. If it's greater than 10, it will do something else. So this could be useful, for example, if the, the user is male, do something else. If the user is female, do something else. If the user is older than 10, do something else. If they're older than 60, do something else. So this is how computers make decisions using the if statement. All right, so I'll see you in another video where we look at what functions are.